नमस्कार मेरा नाम आशुतोष बहुगुना है और मैं एज ए साइंटिस्ट दी इंडियन कंप्यूटर इमरजेंसी रिस्पांस टीम टीम में कार्यरत हूँ इस सेशन में हम चर्चा करेंगे वेब एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी पर जिसमें हम देखेंगे वेब एप्लीकेशन अटैक्स एंड वेब एप्लीकेशन हाउ वी कैन सिक्योर द वेब एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस सेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज द to learn about web application security issues how the attackers can compromise the web applications there are a few myths about the web application security we will list them and discuss them then finally we will see the counter measures how to protect how to protect our web applications so web applications we can see the definition here the web application generally port 80 pe जो कि एस और पोर्ट 443 जो कि एस के लिए स्टैंडर्ड होता है पे चलती हैं और एक्सेस होती हैं सो वेब एप्लीकेशन इज इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन दैट इज एक्सेस बाय अ वेब वेब ब्राउजर ओवर अ नेटवर्क और अ इंटरनेट सो दैट्स द वेब एप्लीकेशंस वी सी दैट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस यू फिल अप सम फॉर्म यू सी द वेबसाइट वेब एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल दिया है यू प्रोवाइड सम इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द वेब एप्लीकेशन यू गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द वेब एप्लीकेशन सो वट इज द वेब एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी सो वेब एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी इज द सेफ गार्डिंग प्रोटेक्टिंग दैट वेब एप्लीकेशन अगेंस्ट द साइबर अटैक्स सो सो दैट हैकर कैन नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज दैट एप्लीकेशन और मिस यूज दैट वेब एप्लीकेशन since this web application is accessed over the internet the malicious actors hackers can compromise or misuse the web application so that's why the importance of a web application security which is safeguarding the web applications so why the web application security is a challenge or we can ask a question why web application is a favorite choice of a hackers or attackers so in this example if you will see this is my valid email id but can you read it no but it's valid for a computer program there is a program to decode that and it's valid for it. in a similar manner the application web application especially the application developed for your own or your organization so that cannot be protected by by any add on security so suppose we will say that we will implement the intrusion prevention system parameter security devices and firewalls so those things can have a limited impact on the web application security the reason is that those devices are not tuned and cannot protect the web application device uh, designed and developed for the purpose of your organization so those application are custom developed application those applications is developed by you for your business for your purpose so uh, that's the uh, issue we have to take care of the security of that web application if there is a weakness vulnerability in a popular applications popular servers so those vendors can will release the uh, patches and the updates for but who will release the patches for the web application developed by us is our responsibility responsibility of a organization owner of that web application another issue is in web application is the security is not priority so generally we develop the web application with a thought that okay we need these these features and these these functionality in our application and we never consider the security in the coding security in the design so that's the uh, another um, issue that's the challenge in uh, protecting the web application then there are a different types of web application attacks the way and the manner in which hacker can compromise your web applications so you can visit the open web application security project that's osp.org and there are a details like a osp security testing guide osp top 10 are list are available there you can go through different attacks different threats to the web applications and how we can improve the security of the web application in this session we will uh, discuss some of the attacks on a web application popular attacks like a cross site scripting attack 
SQL injection attacks, cross site request forgery attack, remote file inclusions, command injection attack. So there are many, but we will in this session we will discuss only uh, these few attacks. So what is a cross site scripting? So cross site scripting or XSS is an attack on a web application when the web application without validating reflect back the user provided data. So it's a generally in a two forms, one is the stored and another is the reflected cross site scripting vulnerability. So what is happening in that case is that user is supplying something to the application and without validating that or filtering out anything, application is sending it back to the user. So how this can be abused by the attacker is the XSS attack on a XSS vulnerability. That's a cross site scripting vulnerability. So like if we see in this slide, this is a persistent cross site scripting. Persistent means the stored cross site scripting. What the attacker is doing, it is uh, he will write a script and store in the database of the application. So now the victim, all the users who are visiting that website, that attacker strings will be displayed to the their browser and their browser credential, confidential information, cookies or any other purpose the attacker can use that cross site scripting. So cross site scripting is the attack which can be used for credential stealing, stealing the information, compromising the browser and for the phishing attacks. Another attack is the SQL injection. So SQL you may be aware about is the structured query language and the SQL is used for a communication language between the web application and the database. So if we need to get some data from database, we can write that in a SQL. And if you want to retrieve or store some data, we can use the SQL. So what the attacker is doing can cause if the SQL injection vulnerability is there in a web application that the attacker can uh, bypass the authentication. So username, password is there, but attacker can bypass that check. Attacker can dump the complete database, can steal the uh, sensitive information from the web application database. So how it works, if you see that, suppose for an example, this is one of the example that there is a query which is selecting uh, the username and a password, validating the username and a password from the in the database. So select a strict from the user table name and where username is this and password is this. So suppose this query is used for the validation of a username and a password from the database. So what the attacker can do instead of supplying username and a password in a login page, attacker can inject something like this or one is equal to one and then has or a dash dash. These are the comment character. So effective query will be something else. It will be select S3 and then code or one is equal to one. Since one is equal to one is always true, the database will return true and web application will believe that let this user be in. So attacker will be inside the application without supplying username password. The thing is that attacker is able to control and modify the SQL query. Now database is executing the query of an attacker. So attacker is injecting his string into the SQL statements. So that's the SQL injection attacks. This example what we discussed was a simple one. There are tools available for conducting automated SQL injections and dumping the complete database of the web application. Remote file inclusion. So remote file inclusion is other, another attack in which attacker can include the remote malicious file to the victim server. So suppose the application is a vulnerable to remote uh, file inclusion. So what attacker will do, attacker will include a malicious remote file. Those files are known as generally the web cells. 
so web cells will be included and in by including the web cell or a remote code or a remote file to the victim machine attacker can control that web application and web server he can execute the command he can change the uh, home page of that uh, application and causing the defacement and can do other type of a damage to that application so web cells so a screenshot of a, this is a web cell so web cells are a malicious program a backdoor that is is a favorite choice of an attacker to upload into the weak web application or include in remote file inclusion so if this web cell is included the victim system will provide the complete control to the attacker os command injection attack sometimes in web applications some queries uh, some commands are used system commands are us os commands are used because that's the requirement of the that web application so now if your web application is not validating the input so what attacker can do attacker can execute the malicious command by using the functionality provided by your web application so that's the os command injection so attacker modify that that's known as a command injection so attacker modify your commands and execute his commands on the that's the weakness of a code another category another attack is the cross site request forgery so in cross site request forgery uh, like you may be aware about like when you are going to your browser you are opening the multiple tab you are going to say the google website on one tab another uh, say you are doing going going to the xyz.com so suppose there is a uh, xyz.com is having a malicious content and malicious content is something like the say um, a action of changing the password of a google so what can happen so you will click uh, on that link or you you are visiting that in another tab the request will go to the that google server or your email server and it will ask to the change the password now that server will trust think that and trust this that since a request is coming from you so you are changing the pass, uh, password but that's not true that request was generated by xyz.com and so by that way attacker is able to change the password so this is only example google and gmails are not vulnerable to this uh, csrf because they are using the better protection but the example is that the attacker can do action on your behalf like a log out sell some data uh, do some important transaction on your behalf from the another website so when you are visiting multiple websites that and your main website is vulnerable to cc csrf then attacker can exploit that vulnerability by initiating action on victims behalf insufficient logging and monitoring this is recently included into the os to 2017 top 10 and what it says that all the web application developed should have a logging and monitoring capability so generally the app web applications as we discuss is not security is not a concern and a priority so uh, definitely these logging and monitoring features are not enabled there so it should be there logging and monitoring features should be there so that we can monitor for the uh, attacks we can log them we can take the actions to improve the security of the web application here we will see some of the myths so ssl protect the web application what is the ssl ssl is the what you see in https so what is the purpose of the ssl so the purpose is to protect the communication channel not the web application so it will only encrypt the communication from end to end from your browser to the web application it will not protect the web application from the other attacks and the vulnerability of a web application another is the firewall protect the web application so firewall is a parameter security device it's a on off switch you can allow one port or block the port so if you are saying that you are allowing the web application you have to allow that port 80 so the firewall network firewall cannot protect the against that 
thing because you are allowing that at a port 80 or a 443 user will follow the rules sometimes you think that in web application we will write you have to provide eight character password so user will follow that rule the user will follow the rule but the attacker will not follow the rule even they will look for bypassing the role uh, rules set up by you network se uh, security scanner found no vulnerability there are a vulnerability scanners which looks for a scan for a vulnerability so network security scanner are for the networks or infra infrastructure security web application security scanners are different so we should scan for from the web application security scanner for the vulnerabilities in web application we have annual security audits so our web application is safe so that may happen we need a continuous monitoring and continuous security audit of the web application only once in a year is not sufficient because the threat, new threats may emerge, new vulnerabilities are discovered on a daily basis that can make our web application vulnerable. So what is the countermeasures the securing the web application? The first thing is the, the security building. Security should not be the add-on feature. You should not add security over when, once the application web application is built. What you have to do, you have to consider security as integrated features from the so very beginning of application development life cycle. So that's a secure software development life cycle that should be followed, secure coding practices, secure design deployment practices should be followed for the web application security. There are resources available as we already discussed, OSP resources, security guide, auditing guides, OSP top 10 is there. So these things and resources you can, you can use to protect the web application so os for top 10 application security risk 2017 is there it discuss about injection flaws like we discuss a sql injection is a one type of a injection flow it talks about the broken authentication where authentication is not properly implemented it talks about the sensitive data exposure when the sensitive confidential data passwords of uh, say users are exposed. It talks about the XXE uh, attacks. It talks about the broken access control. There is a difference between authentication and uh, access you may be aware about. And the access control is that when the logged in users and user can bypass what the roles assigned to him and permission assigned to him. There are a, another is the security misconfigurations when uh, during the deployment and uh, during the configuration of web application there is a security misconfiguration cross-site uh, scripting we already discussed this deserialization attack uh, insecure deserializations when uh, there are a, um, there is a possibility of an attack like in a java serialization uh, of objects are implemented so the, if that is not implemented properly, there is a possibility of exploiting uh, that uh, features. Another category is using components with non vulnerability Sometimes we are using plugins, uh, CMS and uh, uh, other uh, plug, uh, plugins and features for our web application. We are integrating them. So what that can bring if it is a vulnerable, that can bring vulnerabilities to our system that can be exploited by the attacker. Insufficient logging and monitoring, we already discussed that the application should have a logging and monitoring features. So in summary, what we have discussed in this session is the web application security is important. It's our responsibility. It should be built in within a web application. It's, we should follow the secure software development life cycles. We discussed some of the myths of uh, web application security and we have seen some attacks on the web application. So that's all for this session, thank you.